Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create put and patch request in Postman. So as part of this tutorial, I will explain what is the difference between post and put, what is the fundamental difference between put and patch, and then we'll create these two uh, HTTP requests in Postman with example. So let's understand the difference between post and put first. Post we have already seen. So when you create a resource here first time, those resources created using post what i'm referring resource here that can be a submitted data to database or a submitted file basically when you submit something and that is saved somewhere so that is i'm referring as a resource so when you create resource first time the post call is used for that when you want to update that resource we use put call for updating a particular resource update existing resource so now what is the difference between put and patch so put and patch both are used to update resource but there is a fundamental difference put your replace your entire resource but patch only update specific record whatever you want to update let's understand this with this example so let's understand with this example so let's say i want to update this is one object i have a json uh, in that JSON, I have multiple objects, multiple records. So I want to update this one. Let's say I want to update this name is equal to something else. So if I make a put request, it will, whatever the data you provide, it will replace the entire object. So that is the reason when you use put call, you have to provide all the information here. Otherwise, it will replace whatever you provided while making a put call. But in case of let's say in case of you want to update only this right you do not want to replace your entire object you can use patch call here and inside patch you can provide only this information so only this information this this piece of information will be updated rest will be as it is okay so for example let's take it so i want to update only this so i will provide the entire object as a body of my put call right but let's say if i want to update only this email so if i make patch call i can only provide this information and this information will be updated in the, this object entire object will not replace so in case of this even I'm updating only this, it will update entire means it will replace entire object and whatever if you do not provide this data, this won't be available in replaced object. We'll see that in example in a proper demo. So I'm running a locally JSON server where I have five uh, records means the data of five users here. So I will be using these endpoints to show you demo, right? So ideally each API has its own implementation. When you create a put call or patch call for your own specific APIs, please go through the documentation, see how they accept data and what is the return. So I'll explain as part of this example. Okay, so before I create a put request, let me have a get request first so that you can see data. So it is my get request and it is referring to my locally running server where I mock those APIs. So if I send it, if you see, there's a five records here, one ID one, two, three to five. So what I'll do using put request, I will update the record of this fifth record, right? I will update the name here. So what I'll do, I'll create a put request here. This is my put I have already created. And I'm what I'm doing here, important part is, this is users and this five. So this is the way these APIs are referred to a specific record. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying, okay, my record is fifth, update fifth record, but how do I record it? Just I will change the name of it. You see this, geeks codebook. What should happen now? If I save it now, when I make this call, there must be five records only, but the fifth record should be updated with this name. Earlier, if you see, it was fifth was name was this, right? Now, let me send this. And even if you see the return is whatever I sent there. And if I do the, this call again, let me send this call, get call again. In fifth, the name has been updated. So this is the use of put. But the important part, what you must understand, you have to provide the entire object because it did not update only this. Actually, it up replaced entire object. So what I'll do, come here and let's remove some data from this. Okay, I remove this. 
now for put call you have to provide entire object along with whatever you are updating otherwise as i said it will replace your entire object or entire record so or entire resource whatever you want to call it if i save it now if i make a put call it will replace this entire object with whatever i provided so you will see a proof here let me make a call and return is this if i make this call get call again see what you will see this one the entire thing has been replaced right so this is how patch works now let me put that back fifth record again okay so i have updated my existing record means i put back the uh, original record see now the fifth record is this name is geeks codebook and email is this so if i want to update only name and this email that's it nothing else so what i'll do here in patch request i if you see here this is i'm again i'm referring to the fifth record which is there and i want to update only name and email now you see i do not provide the entire object keep in mind my api means dummy api takes a json in raw format so that's why i'm passing here you can go back and check your own api implementation and accordingly you can pass on data here means whatever the data you want to provide to your api if i save it now let me send it see even if i send it i return i got the entire object right even if i sent only name and email so you see the name has been updated and email has been updated earlier when i make a get call the name was geeks codebook and email was this so in patch request even i sent only a specific data so that only specific data updated updated not the entire object so this is the difference and how you can make this put and patch call in postman i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment